God made him to bring it to my doorstep. Now, first of all, I thought about it. I saw it. I spoke it. It came to fruition. So I'm giving you my testimony first before scriptures now. Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> now let's know. I don't like because you see, sometimes when people share some things, you will feel okay. Oh, he's being braggadocious about saying things. No, 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 no. I try to say them with all humility to make you understand. Listen, I can this is me. Me. I can lose everything in my house. You can go to my house now, take everything away. It's the way God has helped me all my life. Take everything away. I will gladly start all over again. Because you know why? I have a revelation that I hold on to. Okay. I drive one I drive one little car right now. I drive it all around. But I tell myself, this is not my car. My car is coming. The moment I see the picture, I start talking about it. And listen, I won't pay for it. And I will tell you, Crystal, I will tell you when it happens. I won't pay for it. My dollar won't get into it. Somebody else will pay for it cash. And we'll deliver. We'll call them and say, Man of God, we thought about you last night. And we said, well, you needed to change, upgrade your car. And we just bought you a brand new X blah, blah, blah car. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So <laughs> I'm trying to give you a picture of something now because... If I talk about it myself, then you know that it works. Not because I'm not just preaching from you from words, but I'm also testifying to you that this, this thing I'm talking about works. And so scripture says, and Jesus was passing by and saw first of all Jairus. And Jairus because of what happened before Hebrews chapter 1, Jairus already had faith and he said, Master, my daughter at home lieth unto death. He said, but come by, lay your hands on her and know she will leave. So he was expressing faith. Amen. But again, faith is no faith until thoughts come into play. Faith, because why? Thoughts create pictures. Preachers create actions. It's when you act on what you think or what you see, that's what's called faith. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And the Bible says, while they were going to Jairus' house, somebody say interception. Or do we say Okay, yes, interception, not 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 break 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 time. No. Somebody crashed into Jairus' party. Jairus was having a party, but an uninvited guest crashed into Jairus' party. Jairus was rolling with Jesus and they were going home and they were going so there was a destination that Jesus was heading so that he was headed for Jairus' daughter. Don't forget that Jairus' daughter was at the point of death so it was an emergency. 911 was called and so 911 was responding but on the way of 911 somebody else intercepted the call. Now, when she intercepted, the Bible says, and first of all, she saw that there was a crowd with Jesus. They were all thronging with Jesus. Sometimes we come to church and a lot of people are in church. You don't, you don't know how to get your miracle. You, you think about everybody who wants to see the man of God. They, they come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. They all go around the man of God. And how can I get my miracle? How can I get to him? I, have, I can come on Monday. I can come on Tuesday. I can come on Wednesday. I can come on Thursday. Day, but all these ask you were all behind. They were all lining up. 
what? You can see him Monday is booked. You can see him Tuesday is booked. You can see him Wednesday is booked. You can see him Thursday is booked. And she said, if I can't see him, but let me see him pass by. All I need is to see him pass by. And if I can just touch the hem of his garment, then my miracle is man. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to tell somebody, whatever it is in your mind, there is a miracle lining up for you. Sit down. So we're talking. Now, listen. Everybody was busy talking to Jesus. Now, listen. Mind what you come to do in church. You know, I think I can. I don't remember, I remember this song. I'm glad I'm here in Jesus' name. So glad I'm here in Jesus' name. I don't know what you came to do. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise his name. So he said, I don't know what you came to do, but me, I came to praise his name. But I don't know why you're here. You're here because when you see somebody's Louis Vuitton, that's your business. You're here to see how cute he is, that's your business. You're here to see, oh, does he speak or oh, whatever? He wears a good cologne, that's your business. But I came to get a miracle. So everybody with the latest hairstyle, the best cars, they were going by Jesus. And this woman saw, this woman had no car. This woman, don't forget, she had issues of blood. She was still flowing with blood. And she tied all kinds of clothes. And she was stinking and smelling. But listen to me. Because of what was in her mind. The picture she was seeing. She never allowed the picture keep her back. She never allowed nobody stop her. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let the pains of the past stop you. Don't let what people say stop you. Hold on to that picture. Because that picture is the key to your future. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Back, 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 back home in Nigeria, 62 year old women say give birth to babies. 62. Yeah, of recent. 62. If you can picture it, then you can future it. You're where you are because you have a messed picture of yourself. You're where you are because you have a messed picture of yourself. You do a pity party over yourself all the time. You sit down with yourself. You judge yourself. You are the judge and the jury of yourself and of your life. You tell yourself you're no good, you can't make it, you're not better. And so you paint the ugly picture of you so you become Miss, Miss or Mr. Ugly. And so when you paint yourself that way, you have no motivation to become anything. And that's not who you are. So you are changing God's image. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 says, and, 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 and God verse 2 says, And God said unto Jeremiah, Before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew thee and I called you a prophet unto nations. But if you read down, God and Jeremiah had a dialogue. God called Jeremiah a prophet. Jeremiah says, no, I'm not a prophet, I'm a kid. So God says, this is your image. He said, no, that's not me. Some of you, you see a great future, but you look at yourself, I can't make it. Because why? Your past pictures is keeping you in bondage. So you say, I cannot become what you say I can be. I, I'm not that. Don't, don't, don't you know I've been dated and rejected by many men? Don't, don't you understand it? How can he come to me? Don't you understand it? I have passed, I've failed exams many times. I cannot be what you're saying. There's no way I'm a failure. You are who you say you are, not what God says. 
Why? Because you've labeled yourself so God can't change your label. You are where you are because of the label you give to yourself. Not God, not the devil. The devil only helped you. But the devil did not call you. You called yourself. He only gave you the instruments for your image. So you created your image by your thinking. And your image became your revelation. Your revelation became your possession. And so, while Jairus, everybody was having a good time, one woman had heard the message of faith. She had already had an image, so even though she was flowing with blood, she was walking as a healed woman. People called her woman with the issue of blood, but she called herself I am the healed woman. I'm healed. I'm whole. I'm the healed woman. So she was singing a different song. Others were singing a different song. Listen to me. People might sing different song. Let your song be louder than their song. Let them sing what they want to sing. But let your voice be louder than what they sing. So the flesh was saying, you flow with blood. She was saying, I am healed, I'm whole. Amen. Devil, I don't see what you're saying. Yeah. What I see is a woman who is healed and whole. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So hear me. Her picture was, uh, she was already futuring in what she was seeing before she met Christ. So she was healed before her healing came. <laughs> so while everybody was busy talking with Jesus she was busy taking a miracle oh yeah. <laughs> uh, pastor I, don't, I just don't understand why, why, why apostle is always with these people she just came to church yesterday now you look at her she's driving a good car she's having this I've been here for six years. I ain't got nothing. I don't know why. I ain't got nothing. That means say God is being partial. Shut up. God's not being partial. You just don't see what she sees. Yeah. Shut up. Sit down. Yeah. Miracle comes to those who sees it. Amen. The Bible says that. That while everybody was dancing, she was saying to herself, just as God was saying to the waters, light be, light be, light be, light be. She was saying to herself, I'm healed, I'm whole. She was pushing everybody. Now, her healing became her motivation. Amen. What motivates you in life to your place of success is what you already see that you will become in your life. That's what motivates you to get to your destination. I, God, I make known the end from the beginning. So why God gives you the end from me is because he gives you a picture of your end to motivate you to go through the struggles to become what he has shown to you. Yeah. 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 Am I still here this morning? Amen. And so she was running with her healing. Others were busy joking with Jesus. Now look at something. <laughs> Her faith seized the atmosphere. So much so that when she got to Jesus, Jesus stood still. As busy and as noisy that Jesus was, some raggedy woman who you could say was bleeding sees the show why don't you make heaven stand still because of you why don't you make forces of darkness become hopeless because you are hopeful i repeat why don't you make the kingdom of darkness become hopeless because you are hopeful why don't you make them become faithless because you are faithful And the Bible says that 
she went, she did not even call Jesus. Notice something. And the Bible, at the mention of the name, every knee bows. She did not even say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. She was the only one who said nothing but just hushed. And she was the only one who did not make a noise, but she only, why? People of impact don't talk too much. You see answers. So she was concerned about answers. She was not concerned about questions. <laughs> so what makes you become impactful is because you've been impacted. Is your impact in your spirit that makes you an impact on the outside? Am I communicating? And so within her spirit, man, she saw victory. But the outside suggested otherwise. <laughs> On the outside, it looks like you got two, three people in church. But on the inside, dad, I got two services going on. Oh, <laughs> I see cars parked over the place. The place is filled. <laughs> I see some rushing out and others rushing in. I see a busy church. <laughs> but you can see what you see. But what you see is not what I see. <laughs> because what I see is bigger than what you see. <laughs> so listen to me. Learn to talk according to what you see. Dress according to what you want. Uh, listen to this. Talk according to what you see and dress according to where you are going. You know why? Because when you dress according to what they say, then you become what they say. So, while everybody was on the outside looking at her, Hmm, hmm, clap for her. She, she, she smells. Give her the way. She said, oh yeah, I will use what you call me to get to where I need to go to get what God says I am. You call me no good on the outside, but God calls me good on the inside. I will just go by the no good, but I'm still going to the good, good God. And if you call me no good, yeah, you will give me the way. I'm going closer to God. As every day what you call me, Put me close to God. The closer I get, the more I see the glory of the soon coming king. Is the glory of Jesus shining brighter and brighter. So what you call me is not what I am. So I move by what I am, not what you say I am. And so the Bible says, and when she got there, she touched the hem. She who was a nobody made a somebody stand still. Heaven stood, for, stood still for a nobody. Why did they stand for a nobody? In your eyes, she was a nobody. But in heaven's eyes, in the eyes of the heavens, she was a miracle taker. God answers speedily to those who come by faith. Faith means that the money has come. The money is not going to come. Faith. I'm just, I don't want to take more time. I didn't have to take more than my time, right? Now let me try to go to this and try to get wrap it up. Genesis 11. I'll come back to this five. The Bible says the people were of one language. They were of one speech. And God said, let's go down to man. Let's see what man is doing. Now, listen, don't forget before that, God's plan was for man to, to, be, to spread around. Was for cities 
to be established countries to be established boundaries to be established but man was willing to change the order so into ch they, they changed the order and said let us come together let's let us build a tower let's make a name for ourselves so they wanted to be ambitious of the only a, a set of people whose tower got to heaven and so bible says they were of one language means they had the same understanding they had the same language by the way nobody goes anywhere when you have different divergence of views Division means division. We're going the different ways. Not the same way. Yeah. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yeah. The same way brings purpose. Purpose brings passion. Passion brings drive. Are you following what I'm saying now? Yeah. So they were of the same language. And God himself had to testify. He said, hey, Holy Ghost, son. We better go. These guys are about to do something that we can't stop. So I'm trying to make you understand something. God said, these people do something we can't stop with a particular instrument. So what was the instrument? Imagination. He said, nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. That means to say, if you can imagine it, no devil can stop it. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Every, I was driving yesterday and I saw Tesla cars and I said, okay, Lord, okay, wait, what, what made this Tesla guy so different from everybody else anyways? The Holy Ghost said because he imagined, by his imagination he created this car. So, his imagination made him see what others could not see. So your imagination will bring to you God's instrument, God's, 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 God's gift for your success. Your imagination will bring to you that which is needed for your transformation. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So everything starts from imagination. Imagination gives birth to creation. And so God, they came down because he wanted, they wanted to stop man from imagining. If he can stop man from imagining, then he can stop the process. So let me tell you something. Why do you have crisis all of a sudden? Crisis come to you to destroy the picture you just built in your mind. Now when crisis, what you call confusion, the devil comes to confuse you so that you cannot imagine. If you can't imagine, then you can't create a picture. If you can't create a picture, then you cannot take a decision. So for example, in a relationship or in marriage, when there is a quarrel that the two couples cannot resolve because, because why? The picture of the future of the marriage is being messed up. So they say it's a hopeless situation. We don't have reasons to be together. Why? The picture has been destroyed. So there is no picture. That is, that's what God was in. It was in darkness. So when it's in darkness, if you don't go back to trying to get back a new picture, then of course what happens is this. Darkness gives birth to destruction. So, but notice, this woman refused to be moved by darkness. Why? Information, but light. Light means understanding. Understanding brought faith. Faith means movement. Anywhere you find faith, you find action. Am I taking your time? Am I taking your time? Anywhere you find faith, you find action. Yeah. Okay. Let me say this again to make you understand it. When it was time, something happened back in Africa. 
and I got out of a particular deal. I got, I got home and said, I was driving from, let me say, I will have put enough from how far? Okay, from like tax, like, like dollars going to California. And so, halfway, somebody told me, somebody just done X, Y, these things to you. I was supposed to be angry by what the person did to me. All I said was, it's time to go to the U.S. There was no money in my account. Listen now. There was no funds in my account to buy a ticket. But I just said, it's time to travel again. I got back and I said, Lord, it's time. This crisis indicates the next level. Some people will tell you crisis is the next level. Some will tell you crisis means it's over. Why? Is this because of what you see? What you picture is what you future. And so, I got home, spent some time with the Lord, prayed about it, left it alone. Three, four days later, some money hit my account. And I was like, who sent me this money? Uh, looking for who sent me this money? I tried to trace. I called call the banks. Who did? Who did? Blah, blah. I found the, the account number. I know who did. And I, I said, hey, dude, what sent this money for? He said, well, sir, some, some, some money just hit my account. And I knew the Lord that blessed me. And I said, it's time to also bless you back too. So I blessed you. I said, oh, thank you very much. Thank you for blessing me. So I took 